One of Kenya's major exports is horticulture, and according to the EU ambassador, Kenya is among the leading exporters of horticulture to the Union, as horticulture exports account for about 80% of the total exports, with flower farms being the largest contributors. Really a double purpose. The first is to help each of the farmers individually to increase the profitability of their farm, but what's really interesting is how we're doing that. We're doing that by providing training and support to have sustainable production, sustainable consumption practices and to support them rising up the value chain. The three-year green horticulture at Lake Naivasha program will support three counties to be undertaken by the Worldwide Fund. This targets to ensure sustainable farming methods by the farmers, a move which will ensure their produce fetch higher prices on the international market, thereby improving their income. Speaking during a visit to beneficiaries in Dababi, Naivasha Worldwide Fund CEO Mohamed Awar says the program addresses causes of post-harvest losses, storage facilitation and the search for new markets. He added that the program will in the near future be working with farmers in their abadares to conserve the catchment area aimed at increasing availability of water in the Lake Naivasha Basin. There are still challenges and at all levels, including government. And I'm, I'm sure by coming together, we'll be able to surmount those uh, challenges. Uh, we also have to deal with the problems of post-harvest losses and storage. And this is what we request the government to do. So thank you, Ambassador. CEC for Agriculture in Akuru, Dr. Immaculate Miner, said the county government has also set aside 10 million shillings this financial year for buying dam liners that will be distributed to farmers. Um, uh, budget here, Mokahu tumeweka about 10 million ya kununua dam liners lakini hatuwezi kupatia kila mkulima dam liner kwa hivyo kawaida tutachagua vikundi tufanye kama demonstration alafu mkishatengeneza zile pesa ambazo Magdalene atengeneza ukishaona ule ujuzi dam liner inaweza kutolea basi utatumia ile faida yako na upate yako ya kinyumbani the program ends in 2022 fiona shuru channel 1 business news